episode, all the music that you're going to hear is supplied by a port. In this episode, all the music you're going to hear is supplied by Portland. Port Why? Why? Port Portland. Portland. Land. Port you say it. No, you say I, it. I'm going to say can I can't. I can't. I, can't. Or I, I would say supply because yeah. it's supply into Portland. Just stop. Portland Tyco. Portland Tyco. Okay. Okay. Go. So often people don't have the funds to go to Asia. We're going to get to see uh, Eugene Aikikai perform. We had the class with him and got to learn some Aikido, and now we get to see them show their stuff. One of my favorite expressions from my teacher perceive correctly and respond appropriately. So I am. Steve Tom Sensei. I am the owner and chief instructor of Eugene Aikikai. We are a dojo in which we practice Aikido, Iaido, and Zaza. It's a modern martial art. One of the ways you can tell that is the name. The name ends in Do, which in Japanese refers to the way. Most of the old martial arts end in this word Jitsu, which means basically technique. Do is a bigger view. So it was started by a Japanese man who studied a number of martial arts, uh, use of the sword, spear, and Aikijutsu, Daito Ryu Aikijutsu. And he incorporated that all together. He was kind of a, a, a genius. Prior, just prior to World War II, he decided the purpose of this would be for peace and love. But he also insisted it had to still be co combatively effective. My teacher, Chiba Sensei, was a student of his. Chiba Sensei was 18 years old, had a black belt in karate, black belt in judo, and he couldn't touch the founder of Aikido. The guy was so good. It is late 70s. A lot of people don't think now that Aikido has real martial technique. Part of that is it takes so long. It's years and years and years of study for it to be really strong martial. What's happening here? He's on the attack. Okay? So when he, he's there and I'm going to attack him, I'm going to try to trap him. i got a lot of energy going in. He's going to disappear on me, right? So that's why this happens. I slide forward. And then he turns me. Chiva Sensei would say that in the practice of Aikido, you train your body through your spirit. It's sophisticated in that sense in that you react to the whole human being that's attacking you. Yeah, I experienced that a lot when uh, we were working together is that I'd be analytical about it and then that's when I'd have trouble is because I have to be feeling out the situation rather than, okay, this foot goes here and this foot goes there. I do want to thank you both for coming here and joining us on this.
Buddhist Hinduism is this beautiful blend of Hinduism, Buddhism, animism, and shamanism. Uh, this is Bonnie Samoa. She is dancer extraordinaire, choreographer, and uh, one of my first dance teachers. I need a little lesson of the hand motion. The movement of the fingers, it's really energy. So they're not necessarily choreographed. So like if we were to start to practice, you would have your 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 wrists flexed, okay. your fingers spread, and your elbows bent. And then eventually you would bring your arms to this position, right? And then from that, <laughs> from that place, you can start to, over time, get your fingers to move a little bit. I can see holding this for a while with the... Um, well, yesterday we held our arms like this for 40 minutes, so... I, <laughs> four seconds. So dead. So dead. So dead. It's the movement of the eyes, and um, like there are a couple of different ones, like... Practicing Balinese dance changed my life and changed my sense of myself as a dancer, um, as an American, as a woman. The most cohesive thing that I learned out of everything was using every bit of you as possible, mind, spirit, heart, body, whether it's the drumming or the martial arts or dancing or um, <laughs> the yo-yo, you had to use all of you available. What did you guys enjoy? What was your favorite? Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next one and we will catch you next time.